I am showing friends how to make wonton soup today. On a typical weeknight, this isn't something that I normally plan on making, but I usually have all of the ingredients ready to go in my freezer or pantry, and it kind of comes together whenever it gets cold outside or when I'm craving soup. I make a really quick stock. This is the best chicken bouillon on the market. I got this huge 16 ounce jar from Costco for $5. They also make a beef one. It's very, very good and lasts a really long time. You just keep it in the refrigerator after you open it. For the aromatics, I have green onion, garlic, and ginger. This is frozen ginger. I always keep that in my freezer ready to go. Add water to a large stock pot. It does not have to be hot, but whenever I'm cooking something like this, I like to use my electric kettle to get things boiling faster. I have like a paste and a little go a little goes a long way this stuff is very concentrated we're going to add just a little bit of salt we're also going to add some white pepper this is optional you can also add black pepper if you prefer that or no pepper at all a little goes a long way with the white pepper as well we're also going to season with a little bit of fish sauce i'm using red boat if you want to add soy sauce instead you can do that as well once it starts boiling we can drop in all of the aromatics so in goes the garlic this is the ginger spring onions and then we're gonna add some sesame oil for a little bit of flavoring. Little goes a long way with this too, so I just add a little drop. Now you just wanna let this simmer for about 30 minutes or so, and then your stock is finished. In here, I have ground pork. It's better and it'll give you that like nice bounce. I think it just tastes better and it'll give you that like nice bounce when making the filling. We're also gonna be adding shrimp I like to cut the shrimp in small pieces like this so that I get a bite of shrimp in every wonton. We're going to season this. So I have soy sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, salt, white pepper, you can add black pepper if you prefer that, and then cornstarch. This will keep everything nice and bouncy. Just mix it all together. You'll need wonton skins. I recommend using wonton skins and not substituting it with dumpling wraps just because it'll keep your wontons nice and delicate. I'm using water and a light finger to wet the edges. You don't want to wet this too much because your wonton can get soggy. Add a teaspoon of filling to the center of the wonton and then fold it in half to form a rectangle. Use your fingers to press out any air pockets. Turn the wonton around so that the sealed edge is facing you. Use your middle finger to form a dent in the bottom center of the wonton. Use water to wet one of the corners and then fold it in together to seal. Here it is again, lightly wet the edges. Add filling to the center. Fold the wonton in half, press out any air pockets, turn the sealed edge towards you, wet the corner, create a dent in the center, and then press the corners firmly together to seal. I'm inserting a clip from the weekend showing my friends how to make the wontons. I taught them how to make the filling and how to wrap. My husband also joined in on the fun. 
This is something that is super fun to make with kids and with friends. <laughs> the more wontons you can make, the more you'll get to eat. We don't have those couple of mistakes just to feel like we're also human, you know? Yeah. No, we don't. No. Let's see. Let's see what we do. No things. Wontons can be made ahead of time and stored in the freezer. Just put them on a nonstick sheet pan and then pop them in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour and then you can transfer them into a bag. To cook the wontons, you want to get a separate pot of water boiling. Once the water is boiling, gently drop the wontons in, making sure not to overcrowd them. Use a slotted spoon or chopsticks to gently stir them so that they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. The reason why we cook them in a separate pot is to keep the broth from getting starchy. In the meanwhile, bring your broth to a boil. I'm adding bok choy to this. I've also used kale, which is another great option. Your wontons are ready to eat when they've floated to the top. They should only take about five or six minutes. Use a slotted spoon to shake off any excess water and then add them to a bowl. Once your bowls are filled with wontons, add the vegetables and then ladle in the hot soup. Top each bowl with cilantro and green onions. If you like your soup spicy, you can season it with chili garlic oil. I have a video on that. And then I also put out sriracha, hoisin, and fish sauce for those that want to add additional flavoring or seasonings to their soup. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys are remaking any of my recipes, please tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Bye!